Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the Hats Hi-Hat plugin in Reaper. As you probably know, I don't usually recommend plugins for Reaper that you have to pay for. But I do make a few exceptions if they're cheap or very useful for certain users. And I think the Hats plugin for Hi Hats is one of those. I purchased it for the sale price of $20, but I've heard it could be on sale for as low as 10. But I wouldn't pay the full price for something like this. So once you install it, we can go back to Reaper. I have a project set up here with some music, and I've also recorded a kick and snare on this track. Because for a plugin like this, the Hats VST instrument is definitely worth having its own track. So let's hear it now. So I've already created a track up here for the hi-hat. Let's put it in record. And let's set the input to my USB MIDI keyboard, which is represented down here. And it's not a part of Reaper. Just so you could see what keys I'm playing. So now we'll go to the track effects on that track. Let's search in our filter, hats with a Z. And if we install the plugin correctly, it should show up right here. Let's double click it. And it looks like this. Now by default, for some reason, it starts with the pitch or tuning all the way down. So for a little while, I thought the included samples sounded pretty bad, but I was wrong. So I recommend starting by going over here to the magnifying glass and clicking it and going to the section called the knit and choosing the preset init right here. And that resets all the parameters in this plugin. So now if we trigger with my USB MIDI keyboard C3, I hear the hi-hat. Now it checks out of this button. And we should see the waveform over here. We can go through all the samples. We can hit this to randomize all the samples that are included. We can even bring in our own samples. Go to the Media Explorer, find a sample you like, and just drag it in to here. And we can use this one instead. Or we can click this button again to choose our samples from here. All samples, EDM, glitchy, hip hop, Lo-fi, R&B, and some shakery ones, or trap. Let's pick one from the EDM right there. It's a pretty generic hi-hat sound to work off of. And again, we're starting with all the parameters at the default. Now, if we hit this button again, we can see the waveform right here, which we could trim the start to cut off the attack or the end to cut off the release. Make it shorter. We could also adjust it with ADSR over here. Adjust the attack, the decay, the sustain, and the release. Then over here, we could layer the sample with sound effects. Turn on the layers. And if we choose A, or the first one, we're gonna layer it with flange. Or if we choose B, we could layer it with hiss. Or C is crackle. And D is white noise.
Now up here, we can add some reverb to the sound. Make it louder or bigger. Let's make it really small and just add a bit. Just to give it some room sound. Then over here, we get some delay or echo. Turn it on. We can adjust the time, quarter notes, sixteenths. Let's try this just a bit. Then over here, we get some drive or saturation. And we can bit crush it over here. Then we get a high pass and a low pass EQ. And here we can adjust the gain or the volume, the tuning, which we'll come back to in a bit and the width, or how wide, the sound is. Mono, or very stereo, or hit this button so you can hit two hi-hats, one in each speaker. Very stereo. Now the best part of this plugin is this section down here. The divisions, the patterns, and the pitch down and pitch up. Our divisions are gonna play a part just by holding down one key. So if we hold down C3, it plays half notes at our project tempo. But if we hit D3, we get quarter notes. And E3, eighth notes, and so on. And the flats and sharps, are triplets. So we can mix them together like this. Let's hear it in the song. Just by holding down those different notes, the higher part's gonna play automatically, which is kind of hard to play by ourselves without some very fast fingers, especially on the rolls. Now over here, it can play patterns. For C2 to B2, like this. And we can mix these with our divisions like this. To create our perfect hi-hat part. Then over here, we have our pitch. If we hold down C1 to B1, it'll pitch up our note while we hold down these keys like this. And for lower pitches, we can hold down C0 to B0, like this. But honestly, my favorite way to use pitch is using the pitch wheel over here. It's set to plus two or minus two, so if we use pitch bend on our MIDI controller, it could sound like this. but I prefer to set it at a full octave so you can control the pitch like this. So 
So in the track, it'll sound like this. Which is a lot easier than controlling it from here. Then if we go up here to this button, we could adjust a gain designer, a pitch designer, a pan designer, and a filter designer. Let's start with the gain. Right now, we're just hearing each note at the same volume, like this. But we could change it with this by adjusting our steps, maybe like this. Just the speed right here. Let's set it to eighth notes. And let's make this a little lower. Put these about here. And create some accents with the gain designer. Then over here, we could adjust the pan or the pan designer, which again is going to change the pan over time. It's set to a sine wave. We could set it to a triangle, a saw, or a square. So it hard pans, adjust the speed. Let's set this back to a sine. Just the intensity. Let's try quarter notes. What's here in the track? Then over here, we could adjust the pitch over time. Let's set this up and then down, and it'll adjust the pitch over time. So just the middle to here. Make it go faster. Make the pitch not as far. In the track. And then finally, we have the filter designer, where we could set different filters to adjust over time. We could adjust low pass or high pass. And if we're happy with our sound, we could save it as its own preset. Not just the sample, but all the changes we made to the parameters. Go up here, create our own section or bank right here. Name it favorite. Then go over here and save the preset in our favorite bank. Give it a name. And now, if we change it to something else, like one of these, we can go back to what we saved. We could also randomize all the parameters with this button right here. and then save those as well. Let's put it back to what we had. 
And now let's record a part just by playing the MIDI notes. Going to record. Now we recorded a part. And we can edit it in the MIDI editor by double clicking it. Here's the notes we played, along with the pitch bend we recorded as well. And we can quantize the performance right here. Let's just set it to quarter notes. And it's not going to affect the individual notes, just the notes we held down. And it should be perfect like this. We can re-edit our pitch bend like this. And that's pretty much it. That's the Hats Hi-Hat plugin in Reaper. Hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.